Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Three Kingdoms Games YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Danny and um, we're going to be playing some uh, Magic Arena uh, today. Um, this deck that I'm playing today is uh, a very, very spicy and interesting deck. Um, and uh, props go goes out to uh, uh, Noxious. Um, he's one of uh, the YouTube personalities that I follow um, online and uh, he creates really, really cool decks. And this idea actually came from him. So, um, you know, um, um, of course, we need to sh give, a, give him a shout out. If you want to see any of his videos, uh, please click down in the uh, in the description below. Uh, I'll, I'll provide a link to uh, to his YouTube channel um, in this video as well. So let's take a look at um, this Mardu Land Destruction deck. Okay, um, it's uh, let me go into decks and let's show you what uh, what this deck is made of. So let's switch to this view and kind of, to kind of show you what this looks like. So right now, um, this deck mainly works off of uh, a few uh, few different you know synergies. Uh, the main card that we're, we're, we're kind of working with is Star of Extinction right here. Destroy target land, uh, Star of Extinction deals 20 damage to each creature and each planeswalker. So this is kind of a cool card. Um, allows me to destroy lands, of course, and I can wipe the board, right, to kind of keep myself safe. Um, the next card um, on uh, that kind of deals, you know, damage to our opponent's lands is Haphazard Bombardment. Now, it's six mana. Again, same with uh, Star of Extinction. It's, it's, it's very expensive to cast, which is seven mana. But, um, I mean, both of these cards are really, really good in terms of trying to get rid of our opponent's land. In this particular case, Haphazard Bombardment allows me to uh, to choose targets, um, you know, uh, that that I don't control. Uh, I put a counter on them. And at the beginning of my end step, um, basically, uh, you know, it's, it's a random choice of which one of those cards that has one of these counters on them, they get destroyed. Right. So, you know, um, I think, um, you know, basically it allows me to destroy their lands or it could I could destroy their planeswalkers or I could destroy their, um, uh, you know, their other different types of permanents. And, um, you know, but it would it's kind of a slow roll because, you know, it would do it one once per turn at the end of my uh, uh, beginning, of my end step. But, you know, it's a good way to destroy those lands as well. Now, the key, though, I think the key to this deck is a combo that uh, that I love I love playing. So it's it's a combo between Crucible of Worlds, right? You may play land cards from your graveyard and Memorial to War. So Memorial to War allows me to tap for 5, one red and four colorless, tap the Memorial to War, sacrifice it, um and then I can destroy target land. Now because I have Crucible of Worlds, I can then replay Memorial to War and then do that again and cycle again and again and again until I I basically get rid of my opponent's lands, right? So that's a really cool way of kind of limiting what our opponents can do. This is a really fun deck to play. It's not a fun deck to play against. Um, and uh, you know, we'll 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 see we'll see what happens when we, when we take it to play. But um, there are some other cards in here that I, I want to kind of highlight because we need to play some defense, right? So our, our defensive spells allows us to to kind of stay alive and um, and uh, basically still be you know still be able to to play our our combo spells and and our land destruction spells during the later parts of the game. Um, so seal away is one, right? Deafening Clarion for the, the, you know, the counters decks or the fast decks, you know, um, sell a little wreckage. I have two of those in here, which is great. Um, and then I have two cleansing novas. Um, our star of extinctions also act as board wipes, right? So it can kind of, can kind of, uh, um, save us uh you know in terms of um you know if, we, if they have a lot of large creatures on the board um we also have some eldest reborns uh, in here we have three copies of um this allows us to um you know get rid of planeswalkers uh and then reuse their planeswalkers or reuse their creatures to kind of kill them right so we're we're kind of playing def defense 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 and then we play eldest reborn uh use one of their creatures use, use their guys to kind of you know kill them uh using their own own uh, own stuff now how do we get to these larger spells how do we get to these larger spells without um being able to you know without um dying you know in the first three or four turns right so we we use a, a couple of different uh, options so we have treasure map right treasure map helps us to look through our deck for the cards that we need, but then also it allows us to create treasures, and it'll help us ramp into the uh, you know the other cards. Um, and then we also have thematic compass as well. Thematic compass allows us to search for basic land cards, put them under the battlefield, and then if we have seven, we can actually flip it, and um, uh, and and then it basically helps us play defense, right? Now. 
Another one of our win conditions in here, other than the Eldest Reborn, is Angrath. Using Angrath, we can kind of disrupt their hand, right? Having them discard their cards, having them lose two life every turn. Um, if we want, we can also gain control of their creatures as well. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of cool card, and it fits within the combination uh, of the lands that we have. Uh, sorry, of, of the colors that, that we have. So so basically, this is Mardu uh, land destruction. Um, let's try it out and uh, play a couple of games. Um, there is no sideboard. As you can see, there's no sideboard. Um, you know, this is a deck that I usually just play, you know, single games of and, uh, you know, and, and kind of play that way. It's not it's not a, you know, it's not a tier one deck by any stretch of the imagination, but it's really, really fun to play. So um, let's get to it. OK, let me start a game. Yeah, I was watching uh, Noxious play this on on, uh, on YouTube, and it was like, oh my god, I can't believe he, he's able. He was able to cast a lot of these seven mana and six mana spells because he was able to, uh, you know, to ramp up fairly quickly. And this is perfect, right? Uh, now we're, you know, our opponent goes first, so we're kind of on the draw, but still we have board wipes. Right, we have treasure maps that allows us to to find the you know the lands that we need, um, and also create it helps us create treasures. So um, I'm hoping that we're not playing against anything that's that's too you know that's very controlly because then we won't be able to cast any, any of our spells. But um, let's uh, let's keep this and and see how it goes. Uh, so it's playing red. Oh, great! This is one of those. This is one of those. Uh, one of those decks that uh, we need. We definitely need board wipes for. So Fennecal Firebrand. Let's play Sacred Foundry and uh, let's play with it tapped. <clears throat> we can play Is Isolated Chapel next. Oh, are we? Are we just gonna die? Now the nice, the good, the good news here is that um, our opponent mulliganed, right? So. Isolate Chapel. Let's play. Let's play a treasure map. Let's play a treasure map. I'm worried that you know they're playing. Let's see. These, he's playing. Uh, if he has, oh, yikes. Yeah, we need. We definitely. We definitely need to definitely clear on next turn. <clears throat> just to say, just to stay alive. Well, another treasure map. We really didn't need that, but. So let's play this and let's Clarion just to kind of stay alive and let's see what else our our opponent uh, casts. I think next turn we can start ramping with our treasure maps and then on a, on a, on a turn five if he has more more creatures to cast, then you know we can cleansing Nova for sure. Wow, I think we're just gonna die here. Ugh. Let's play our planes. Let's um, play. Let's not play a treasure map. Let's, because I want to leave up mana so that I can tap a treasure, uh, tap my treasure map, and also um, play seal away on his uh, Vishnu. Uh, let's pass the turn. Yeah, let's pass the turn. I mean, the good news is our, our opponent's down to, you know, two cards. Um, let's pass. Let's see what he does. He attacks. And then we're going to cast Seal Away. <clears throat> okay. And is our opponent going to cast a Burn Spell? Okay. Nope. So we're going to Treasure Map. Let's hope we can find a land. We're not going to do Haphazard Bombardment. Let's hope we find a land here. Um... Land, come on, land. Okay, so wreckage is not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's pass the turn. Yeah, let's pass the turn. I'm hoping to draw my 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 land so that I can start of extinction, or you know, flip my treasure map um, in in a few turns. But I'm I'm hoping he doesn't draw any any burn spells right now because we really don't have any life gain. Um, and uh, I guess what I really want to do is I want to I want to kill all of his lands before he he can cast anything. Um, so we'll pass, and then we're gonna treasure map on his end step. Perfect. Let's draw the dragon skull. Um, should we, should we cash in a treasure map? Yeah, let's, let's, no, 
that's not. Because I'm not going to cast Star of Extinction now anyway. <clears throat> Fanatical Firebrand. Uh, that's okay. I think that's good. Let's let it resolve. I think he's going to attack with it. And then we're going to settle. I know this is kind of weird, right? We're settling. Well, <laughs> we're settling one, uh, one card. He gets a land out of his deck. And then we get the flip treasure map. <clears throat> Haphazard Bombardment. I'm going to keep Haphazard Bombardment. And then my turn. And then I'm going to cast Haphazard Bombardment. Uh, so let me read this. Um, enter the battlefield, choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control and put a counter on them. Okay, perfect. So let's do that. Let's... Um, One, two, three, four. And should we treasure map again? Yeah, let's treasure map again. <clears throat> okay, next. That goes one of his lands. <clears throat> I'm really hoping he doesn't draw any burn spells. If he draws burn spells or like a, yeah, see, this is this is this is the the problem with fighting against burn. Um, oh man, if he draws another burn spell, I think we're pretty much dead. We're dead in the water. So let's treasure map. Um, memorial to war. Yeah, let's keep memorial to war. My turn, we draw Memorial to War, we play it, uh, and let's cast Treasure Map again. Next, and turn, we'll destroy one of his lands. No burn spell, no burn spell. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's treasure map. Let's find something. We don't need another land. Let's go. Come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me crucible. Arr. Arr. So let's play planes. Let's um yeah, let's let's memorial right now. And let's kill this dude. Kill that land. All right, and we have two mana open. Let's end turn. Haphazard Bombardment goes and destroys another land. Perfect. Oh, okay, so let's treasure map. Let's keep Deafening Clarion. No, no, let's not keep Deafening Clarion. I want, I want to find Angrass. And then let's treasure map this dude. Okay. Nope, I don't need more lands. No more lands. Wow, another Star of Extinction. That's beautiful. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What do we do here? Um, uh, Star of Extinction you. Get rid of your mountain. Um, let's see. Risk factor, risk factor. We draw more cards, right? You know, let's let it resolve. Have risk factor deal four to me. No, I'm gonna have to decline. That's fine. Oh, he got another land. Oh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Crucible of Worlds, good. Great. Let's keep that. 
So my turn. Let's play Crucible. Yeah, let's play Crucible. Let's, um, hmm, let's play Memorial. I'm going to, I think I'm going to Star of Extinction. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Get rid of that land. I mean, if he has a hasty creature, right? I'm, I'm pretty much dead. I just need to get rid of his his red mana. I want to get rid of his, rid of his red mana. Um, let's end turn. Let's have haphazard bombardment finish off. Oh, it didn't. Why did it not finish off his land? Oh man, yikes. Oh, and I die. Oh, so close. So close. Good game, opponent. Good game. Yikes. Oh, we were so close. We had him kept we had him down to nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Good game. I mean, it's 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 fun when, when it kind of you kinda you kinda see it work, right? Um let's try again. Let's try really quickly and play again. Um you know, I'm I'm hoping that we could find I don't know, like a creature heavy opponent, um, you know, Golgari. This deck is great against Golgari. Um, uh, this deck is great against um, uh, the, like the Boros Weenie decks. Uh, okay, so we have some. Okay, we don't have any any of our uh, ramp. Like we don't have treasure maps. It's gonna be a slow burn. Okay, we'll, we'll try it and our opponent goes first, okay? Let's see, and, well, here you go. Our opponent mulled down to uh, five cards again. Oh, is, it, is this the same guy? This is the same guy. This is the same dude. <laughs> I think it is. Okay, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's play this again. I can't, well, I guess he, you know, he likes playing <laughs> this deck. Zalian. I don't remember if we were playing Zalian. Uh, I'll have to watch the video again to see if we we're playing against the same guy. But you know, th you know, this fanatical firebrand is going to kind of just tick us down until uh, until we're dead. Well, let's hope he can cast some creatures. Cast something? No. Come on, Vishnu. No. Ugh. Okay. I don't want to waste a deafening clarion on this one guy though. That's the thing. Okay, we'll take it again. Next, pass turn. Pass turn. Because we can always settle afterwards, right? So we can definitely, if you cast something here, definitely Clarion, settle. I mean, we can take these onesies. I don't, I don't mind about these onesies. Oh, more land. That's good. That's good. We're slowly building up. We're slowly, slowly building up. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Let's just definitely Clarion. Screw it. Let's just go ahead. Because, I mean, if he has more cards, he has more cards. I think he's waiting for this with the final burn spell. Ah, uh, more lands, and oh, oh, that's great. My Settle the Wreckage is beautiful. Oh, even better. So Seal Away is a great card, too. Um, should I play Angrath? No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to pass the turn and either Seal Away or Settle the Wreckage his Phoenix. I think that's what I'm going to do. So pass. Let's not give him any lands. Let's Seal Away his Phoenix. We're in a little bit better shape. We're in 16 health. I, I think last time when we first kind of started running, you know, away with this, we only had like we only had like 11 health. So this is a, a little bit better. I'm thinking about casting Angrath now, uh, and then and then make our opponent kind of discard, uh, discard his stuff. Yeah, let's do that, and then deal some damage to him. Discard what? A land. Ooh, he's he's land heavy. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Fanatical Firebrand. He's going to go after us or he's going to go after Angrath? Ha ha ha. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's going to attack me. That's fine. That's fine. Sacred Foundry. Let's enter tapped. Um, 
They could maybe take another damage. Yeah, let's have our opponent discard his 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 last card. And he's gonna shock me. That's fine. And let's. What am I gonna do? I don't want to bring back a fanatical firebrand. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, what the hey? Let's bring back a fanatical firebrand. <laughs> and our opponent scoops it up. Um, so you didn't quite see the land destruction in the second game, um, but you know you can see the you know the power of of this deck. It's kind of cool. I mean, it beat you know it beat a mono red um, aggro deck. So uh, I mean, it didn't help that he uh, he had to mulligan right a couple of times. But um, so that's the deck. Um, uh, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to put up another video uh, of me playing this deck again. Um, but again, props go goes to Noxious. Um, you know, I, I I love playing these types of decks. These kind of off the beaten path types of decks, um, especially in standard. You, I mean, how how often do you, you do you see land destruction in standard, right? So um, so that's it for me. Uh, again, this is Danny from uh, Three Kingdoms Games. If you're interested in picking up some of these cards, please visit uh, one of our two locations uh, in the uh, GTA. Um, and uh, please like, subscribe, and make some comments about this video if you like it. If you didn't like it, I'd love to hear all the comments. Um, and uh, what we're going to be doing is I think we're going to be doing um, uh, a draw uh, for uh, for some prizes. Um, uh, but uh, that's not going to be coming until later on. So in our next video, what we'll do is we'll announce some of the prizes that we're going to be offering uh, for our monthly draw. Um, and in order for you to win our prizes, you're going to have to subscribe to our channel, like the video, um, as well as uh, make a comment within the video. So, um, so, that's, so that's coming up uh, in, uh, in some of the later things that we're doing. Um, please, again, if you have any comments, feel free to, to, to comment and like. Uh, this is, again, Danny signing out. Thanks. Bye.